Hello there, guys. Welcome back. Upper bracket finals on the horizon. Obviously, the last game we watched, Coalesce versus E-Masters, was an absolutely amazing game. Coalesce just getting the slight upper hand, but it was such a close affair. This next matchup, though, is going to be absolutely amazing. Charlie, why don't you give us a little bit of a rundown, though? Yeah, Viperio versus Coalesce, Fred. I mean, I think this is the game that people predicted for the finals. Yep. We get a little early, still potentially going to be one of the finals. You never know, but it's going to be a very interesting one between these two teams. You mentioned we saw Coalesce play not too long ago against the Masters. A really, really close game there. Potentially, if Coalesce play like that, I might give the slight edge to Viperio. It, it felt like it was a very long, drawn-out game. One is a best of three. These guys yeah. are probably going to start to be tired, a bit more fatigued by these games. You're never going to want to have a too long a game about that, but Fred, I think we're in for a real treat today. Yeah, it's going to be really, really good. Obviously, both of these teams, as you mentioned, probably the two favorites here at Epicland 38, powered by Intel. I feel like they're definitely the two teams you look at on paper. Yeah, we're expecting Viperia in the finals. We're expecting Coalesce in the finals. Yeah. As you said, we get it here early. I'll be honest with you, Charlie, you're leaning a little bit towards Viperio, but have we seen the vetoes yet? Are we going to be ready? Because I, I feel like I couldn't make a decision yet. I feel like it would be too tall of an order. It'd be too tough to, to kind of tell because I feel like the map vetoes when you are these really, really two strong teams can change absolutely everything. So I can't wait to see how they play out. Yeah. But I think it is going to be an interesting one with the fact that Coalesce have just had that kind of long drawn out game. Yes, it was a victory. The, the morales might be high, but as you said, fatigue going to be setting in. Yeah, I mean, I think the game was... Probably about, if it is about 30 minutes ago or so. Yeah. So it's not that long a break when you consider how many times you'll really be sort of playing today. So, yeah, it, it's not a, a huge amount of time. If this is another long drawn out one, by that third map, potentially yeah. they're going to be slightly too worn out from it. Yeah, and I'll be honest, Charlie, we went outside, had a little chat, and we saw the Viperio guys that, you know, they had their little strap, yeah. they were having their little meeting. But, yeah. I'll be honest, they look prepped and ready, and I, I would, you know, I feel like. Yes, it's going to be tough, but I feel like they look very ready for this game, and potentially that could give them the the, the upper hand, and you know maybe for for me could be one of the reasons that I put them as my favourites. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to think Viperia watching the game, what was going through their heads. Because I think on paper most people probably would have leant towards Coalesce in, in in the game earlier, but E Masters gave it a real good good run. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they they gave it a good battle. Maybe halfway through Viperia were thinking. Yeah, maybe this isn't so clear-cut. Maybe yeah. Coalesce aren't so set in stone. But Fred, vetoes. We finally got them. Coalesce versus Viperio. You said it's too early to lean towards a team. After these vetoes, will you be having a favourite? I'll be honest with you, Charlie. Not at all. I feel like <laughs> they are very, very mismatched. Vertigo, Coalesce, they showed a lot of kind of signs of success against E Masters on it. We've seen Viperio on Anubis, and it's a it's a map that we love to see. And obviously, Charlie, once again. Things ending on overpass. I feel like maybe it's us. Maybe they, they see us on the desk and they go, we've well, got to give them overpass again because I feel like we see this map every single time. But I think it is going to be a long, drawn-out series. Oh, I'll be honest. I think it's going to be tough to, to say one team's going to close it out 2-0. But I've seen the vetoes here. I'm going to slightly edge a little bit towards Viperio, it's, but it's still it's still no no clear-cut contest. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's the issue. It's... it's there's the external factors that, that really get me. That yeah. That's the thing that... W it feels like I can't pick Coalesce just yeah. due to the fact that they've just finished that really, really long best of three. three hours. Yeah, it, I mean, it was a long game. I mean, none of the games were exactly that one-sided. They all went right down to the wire. So it, it makes me feel like I can't give it to Coalesce. So I'd probably have to, for that one reason alone, not even Matt Vitos, have to slightly edge towards Viperio as well. But... If Coalesce can play like they normally do, then I think they, they've got just as much a chance to take this one and and, and we can shut up about the previous <laughs> yeah, game. I but guess, yeah. yeah, I don't know how likely that's going to be. Yeah, I think as well, this first map is going to be so important for Coalesce. Yes, they, you know, they played E-Masters, they did beat them as well, but realistically, they have to take their own map pick. I don't think we're going to be seeing what we saw kind of with the, the Vitalized game. I don't think we're going to be seeing both teams, you know, winning one another's map pick. Yeah, because yeah, if yeah. Iperio, Anubis, I feel like that that could be a guaranteed dub. Maybe, though, we're going to be looking back in a couple hours from now and I'm going to be looking a little bit silly, but I don't know. I'd love for them to prove me wrong. I'd love to see the player. You know, Chris Evan come over. We... we we talked to Chris Evan quite yeah. a lot. He's a, he's a lovely guy. We've interviewed him in the past. I'd love to, for him to come over and go, you know what, I proved you wrong. Sit down. And, I mean, you know, I'm a player, you're a caster. There's we, a reason we for that. Saw, <laughs> we saw Viperio sort of their little tactical meeting that they had. We didn't see Coalesce's. Maybe yeah, they've true. been having a few 
few discussions We're maybe about, about this veto. Didn't even say it. I mean, that's private. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe a new saving straps for playoffs, Brad. Yeah. It's what it's all about. These teams. Maybe Anubis. That's what Coalesce have been cracking. They're prepared for this game, but who knows how this one's going to go. Shortly, it will be underway, and I don't think we're any nearer to having someone we're going to be favouring at all. I think it's going to be a real brawl on the server. We've had so many individual performances here at Epic Land. So many players have really stepped up. I mean, beyond our expectations, there's yeah, been definitely. time and time again, the amount of clutches, it feels like each game, regardless of the scoreline... Three 1v3s. It, it, yeah. <laughs> it, honestly, it does yeah. feel like that, yeah. which is pretty unbelievable. So I wouldn't be surprised if this game is full of that as well. Yeah, obviously, though, we are going to be heading into the matchup now. Charlie, Vertigo should be starting soon. Something to mention though, something I'm gonna just sprinkle on top right at the start here. This isn't do or die for these teams. Obviously, you're gonna want to win this, get yourself into the kind of the grand final straight away, but a loss here, it's not all said and done. They've still got the chance to come through the lower bracket. Certainly not the, the situation that either of these guys want to be going in for. The artist swinging on through. Triple there. Lovely stuff. Yep. Azuwu, all that remains, two HP. Rest is fine in those, but Gizmi does take down Azuwu. Deals the killing blow. Great start there. I believe that was Viperio winning that round there. Yeah, Viperio going to be happy with the result of that one. I mean, we love to talk about, obviously, the implications of these initial pissed rounds and what they can do. How they can really set the tempo and the tone for the game. So, yeah, that... that Round starting a five for Viperio, sorry, is certainly gonna allow them to take a bit more charge in this one. Dox does get taken down early here though. Obviously it is just that eco round four coalesce, so they're never really gonna expect too much. They have tried to play for the rifles as quick as possible. So that is what we're going to be seeing in the next round, which I do like. It, it, it's, it's a very by-the-numbers playstyle for Coalesce, making sure you can get the weapons out as soon as possible. It's a tendency that we've seen not really followed that much here at Epic. It feels like so many teams love these second-round force buys, but it's good to see Coalesce. They want to get the rifles out on that third round. They don't really want to take the chance of losing that force. So AK's in hand, obviously going to be a bit of a bonus for Viperio. Got the two MP9s for Mass out and a couple of M4s accompanying them. Yeah, obviously coalesce. This is their time to try and shine. No pun intended that. But he's one to fall. Similarly, Chris Seven through the smoke will get taken down. And instantly Viperio, they're looking good here. We mentioned Charlie, a bit of a bonus. So uh, a round that we're not really expecting Viperio to win comfortably, but they're looking great so far. Those openers have come through. Now it's these three remaining players for Coalesce. Let's say that. I'm a little quick on the tongue. Two of them fall. It's now all on Doc. Six HP. Falls to Gizmi. And that's three rounds in a row for Viperio. And look at the money they have for it as well. They're looking so strong economically. But Fred, it, it was the fact that that round, the round that Coalesce, they, they waited for. That, that was the round they got the rifles out. We were ready to see them sort of come out the gate swinging. But no, Viperio shut them down just like it was a another eco. Dominant stuff from Viberia there, looking very scary early on on Vertigo. Yeah, they come out that round with four AKs. You know, instant upgrades. Although, the, you know, the M4s, they're going to be very strong with them, but now they've got the one-tap machines on their own side, and that's going to be pretty dangerous. We do have the Tech Nines and the Deagle in play for the side of Coalesce. Obviously, just a bit of a half bite. We're not expecting much, but potentially this B-Pop could maybe get the bomb plant flashbang coming through. Chris Seven. Entering in, Azuma will be the one to take him down. Chris Seven, oh, lovely stuff with the tech set. And Viperio caught off guard and potentially given a round away to Coalesce. Artist in the back line, still with the MP9 in hand. And this is where Artist would have loved to have a rifle, maybe even the big green. But sadly, just the SMG in this one. Yeah, they're definitely not going for this one. I mean, look how far away Ping is. Surely not. Might actually be trying to re group with artists maybe go for a few exits but i'm sure that's what artist has got on his mind a few pipes of techs take them down maybe see if they can deny any ak's being bought into the next from coalesce but all five look like they are going to stay alive for this t side of coalesce so we were singing the praises of viperio 
Next round, Coalesce catch them off. He shows this team are only human. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like as well, the entries were so key there. Azuwu, Chris Seven, they were, they were so confident in their own abilities with the Tech Nines. And I feel like that's something that when you see potentially these, you know, fourth, fifth seed teams, you see them be a bit tentative, a bit hesitated, or kind of a bit hesi hesitational, I guess. Hesitant. Hesitant, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Got the word in the end. Um, but with these weaker weapons, yeah, coalesce. They treat them, though, they're just as though they're AKs. And, and that's the real difference making you can see between these teams. Orp is out for Shine. Surprisingly, the first side to bring out the Orp is actually Coalesce. Artist still on this MP9. I mean, both him and Pink have plenty of cash in the bank, so the Orp could be bought out in the next if they do so desire, but I love this boost. If it's, if it's slightly overlooked, Fred, a lot of kills can go the way of Viperio here. Obviously, Pink needs to be a little aware. Just 16 points of health can very easily get spammed through that metal plating. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of a, a one and done. Giraffe finds a frag and they just back away because I don't think they can kind of comfortably stay on the stack. Docs, I'm going to send the molly towards Sandbags. Luckily for Viperio, no defender there. Docs, he seemed aware. Zuwu finds ping. That's the low HP player falling. And they're going to be ready for another player here towards Gap. Docs takes down Gizmi. What a double entry there from Docs. So clinical. MMS, though, will eliminate him. One versus five here for MMS, but he finds his second. Azuwu takes him down, though. And Viperio, although they found the opening three coalesce, they've got something to respond with now. Fred, those entries there from Docs, you said so clinical, so calm as well. Didn't rush a spray, just tapped. Tapped away until he finally found the head. And so clean with it. Coalesce do double up, string the rounds together. And although Artist has the orb, the rest of his team aren't looking so pretty. Artist goes down early to shine, gets a bit of revenge there. Yeah, that's devastating. And obviously, we saw the kind of leech POV, we saw the player crossing. So they were aware of that ladder control taken by Viperio. The information's also been gained on two Viperio players towards the B site. So Azuwu looking if they can break open the A bomb site. Molly's coming out. I like how Coalesce, despite having this two man advantage, despite knowing that they are going up against Fisher, still playing the fundamentals. Know that they don't want to let anything slip here. They're in such a heavy advantage. Don't give up any weapons. Yeah, obviously, I think we can see an orb out for us. If Ping desires to drop one over, but gives me could deny. Ooh, but Docs. Nice stuff there. We've got a little bit of a BM there, Charlie. Shooting bodies. You were against the USPs, but I respect <laughs> it. I mean, I, I think these two teams, I mean, I think there's just going to be that rivalry between them naturally. It's They're sort of the two top dogs here at Epic. And I think they're the two teams that really are going to have that sort of connection between them. Who is going to be slightly better on the day? And right now, Fred, it's three to three. There's no split. Coalesce, though. Searching for a pick towards ramp. MMS gets a backstab. What? Chris isn't going to be happy about that. Yeah, Chris, a bit of a tough start in this game right now. One and five, but certainly plenty of time in the series to make his presence known. Yeah, Zuwu, though, has crept up gap. Going to try and find some picks here towards A. Artist, a very important rotate here. They overlook. They're certainly not ready for Azuwu. He finds his second, and that is brilliant from Azuwu. Goes down to Giraffe, though. Gizmi going to be rotating in. And now they creep their way up top ramp. We have got another player towards Gap. Gizmi searching for a bit of a spam through the smoke. Doesn't connect the bullets, but Charlie, remember, still a three versus three hit. A bit of a missed shot there from Shine. Yeah, something we're not used to seeing there. But might still have a second opportunity. All three players for Viperio are currently here towards A, but... Looks like MMS wants to rotate slightly away, having a bit of a look at the flank. Charlie, look at the amount of util, though, that Coalesce still have. Five flashbangs. They're sending out the smokes now. Shine flashing them in. That's a perfect flash for Giraffe. Still able to get the trade. Docs will find him, though, so it's a one versus two now for MMS. Does find the first. A little bit of an initial struggle, but what a clutch there from MMS. You mentioned it at the start, Charlie. In a lot of these games, it's these really, really key clutches that we keep seeing, and MMS provides us with one once again. Yeah, already round seven. Big one versus two. For Viperio, Viperio to edge slightly ahead in this game. 
There's still so much more more work to do for both of these sides. Look, Charlie Five Three will win the round. They're on weaker weapons. They already lose a player quite early on. I think they didn't be aware of MMS. I say that Docs just swings on through quite casually. Shine holding the line though, so man advantage goes back the way of Coalesce. And in the first 20 seconds, there's always there's already been so much action here towards this B bomb site. Artist, very cheeky there. Takes down Leaf as he's crossing back. The action continues. I thought we would sort of see Coles slow down into a bit more of a Devo and hold any sort of aggression, but it's actually Viperio finding the success. Yeah, brilliant from Ping that. Quite a potentially an unfavored gunfight. Fighting off against the AK of Azuwu with a Famas in hand, but Ping clearly just perfect cross air placement. And Chris, we mentioned potentially not having the type of game we're ready for, the type of game he's been putting up. And this is the time for the step up. Two versus three here. They're going to try and plant the bomb. That is Shine here with the AWP. Oh, the tag. That is devastating. Artist so key there. And we still have an HE grenade on Giraffe. Your three players are going to be coming from the same position, though. Do have that smoke on ping. That could be everything. Just dropping that on the bomb. Denying vision. If Shine's the one left to try to defuse or hold off the diffusers, but he does find the first and giraffe. Half of the bomb though, isn't it, Charlie? Artist fires off the orb shot. They're aware that neither player are on the bomb now. Oh, when he pushes through the smoke, Chris finds one, but it's still no stick of the bomb. Ping eventually will get on it. I think he might just have enough time. Oh, yeah. it's close. Viperio. They put up another. Yeah, we almost have another one versus two there, Fred. Yeah, really, really strong chance there for Chris, but Ping tapped him through the smoke. He was too low HP. Something to mention, Charlie. Ping tried to save the AWP, tried to add an AK at one point, but kept the fan license in the next one. Bit unfortunate. Yeah, that is a rough one there, but two rounds ahead for Viperio currently. Coles still hanging on financially. They can get another investment out, but a couple of limitations here all there, primarily to do with the util. Yeah, and this is where Viperio potentially just need to group up a little bit, try and take some control, potentially use their kind of limited utility to perfection, send a flash in towards B. That's exactly what they do, but Chris dodging the flash, potentially a bit of a missed thrown utility there, and Chris, an important kill to find. Docs as well chiming in, Shine as well finds Artist, and everything's gone the way of Coalesce in this round. Giraffe, though. Does find one before falling. Nice trade there from Chris. Charlie, he was one and five before. He's now four and six. You know, three kills brings him slightly back into it. And it's all on ping now. One versus four, but it's towards the wrong bomb site. Probably just going to try and save and coalesce. Should find their fourth. I mean, this is the scary thing about this matchup. The fact that anybody at any time can step up and just flip around on his head. Somebody can just push out towards B, take a couple of entries, a couple of headshots, that could be round done. But it's the same on the side of Viperio. I think they've got so many players who, who have won that clutch potential, but as well just someone who can put up such a monstrous hold on the defense. And, and I mean, that's what scares me about this game. I don't know if it's ever going to end. This, this could be one of the longest games I, I think we've seen. And I mean, just the start of Vertigo, I think we're really on for that trend. But I'm excited to watch the rest of it. But still, not even halfway through map one. Yeah, and it's already given us that that kind of remnants that, you know, potentially one, two, three of these maps could go OT. You know, we've seen a couple overtime games in these higher seeded matches, but I'd love to see it here in the upper bracket final. I mean, both teams for have constant limitations. Coalesce, sort of first round where they haven't, but Ping getting aggressive towards the B entrance. Does get flashed in, but nobody in sight. Zuru finding an important pick here towards A. Dox is already so deep. Surely going to catch off this rotation of Gizmi. But I like the respect from Dox. It in fact catches him out. He falls back to try and hold CT. Gets taken down by Artis. A man advantage no longer. Back to a four on four. Obviously, as you mentioned, though, weaponry utility still favoring Coalesce. The health still goes the way of Viperio with Azuru on seven HP. Azuru. Yeah, it looked like they wanted to spearhead the attack a little bit, but 7 HP could be quite an easy find. Leaf does get one. In fact, Leaf doubles down, grabs one through the smoke. Yeah, one problem they are going to face is their only full HP player is the one with the AWP. I say that. Leaf and Shine just switch weapons, and yeah, rightly so. Call. Necessary call, really. I think maybe you just send in Leaf first, Azuru to go for a bit of a trade, and, and then you just kind of leave Shine, I guess. 
I think you probably leave Leaf slightly further back. Sending a Zulu shine for the trade, and Leaf can just cover the boys from a deeper position. But MMS towards this alley position. He's taking his time. He's got the AK in hand. Still with the Deagle. Leaf goes forward. Shine with the trade. Two versus one here. And MMS, he's got himself a bit of a freebie, a bit of a one versus one. The bomb is going down, though. Shine. AK in hand, not his favoured weapon, but he has planted on the back of the bomb site. He has been spotted, and MMS elevates himself up, but gets caught out by Shine. And lovely stuff there, coalesced. They level things up five to five. But what a game this has been! Yeah, even with the rifle there, Shine really proves his weight in gold there. Massive, massive clutch needed. Coalesce level things up once again, and look what that's done to the Viperio economy. Viperio have had a really, really tough time in terms of the finances. I don't know if you've seen, but you can probably go back round by round and not a single full buy. They've had everything. They've had MP9s for masses and plenty of them, really. Azumu finds a couple. Docks two of his own as well, and it's all ping in the one versus four. Azumu does eventually fall, but Docks takes down ping. That's a triple for him, and Coalesce do take the lead. I believe for the first time in this series. Yeah, they're going to be happy with that one. Obviously, this is their map pick, so... Getting a strong start on the T side, definitely something that they're going to want to be searching for. Once again, slight limitations for Hyperio, no AWP on Artist. But I wanted to point something out. Obviously, Shine winning that clutch is very good for, you know, one's own mental stability because, you know, you're in the 1v1, you, you had your primary weapon, but you kind of gifted it to your teammate. You're on an unfavored gun that, you know, you're not utilizing that much. But I feel like Shine, in all these situations, He's, what, 7 and 5, I believe? I feel like all seven of these kills have been so impactful. And I feel like Shine's the type of player that, you know, might not always be at the top of the leaderboard, but will always have that kind of high impact. Yeah, something that often can go a bit of a miss when looking at the scoreboards, but I'm sure his teammates certainly know how valuable they are to the team. But Viperio here, just the four, 5 and 4, sorry. No AWP in play. There, Coalesce. Going to be leaning towards A here, and they're going to creep their way up ramp. We do have a fair bit of util remaining on their side. Not a similar story for Viperio, though, as they use their final smoke. Two flashes on Molly and a nade. Split across Gizmi and Artis. So we're going to need to see some kills go the way of Viperio. Otherwise, they're probably just going to get a bit overwhelmed with the utility of Coalesce. Yeah, I like this setup here between Artis and Ping. Looks like they've got four players towards A. They've just left MMS to kind of gamble for the B, and the swing from Ping doesn't work out too well. Gives me trying to pick up the pieces, but falls as well to Azuru. He finds Artis, and Azuru takes down Giraffe as well. That was a 4A defense here from Viperio, and not a single frag has been found. Fred, that was perfectly played there from Azuru. I don't know if you saw how he sort of maneuvered himself after each of those kills. Made sure there's no possibility for the instant trade before resetting his aim and going back in for seconds and thirds and he did it and every single time Freddy found the kill. Great stuff from both Azuru and Leaf there. Not only keeping themselves alive but finding the frags and Coalesce starting to take a bit more charge in this game now. Yeah, great round there. Lovely stuff for, from Azuru. Uh, He's in the old fantasy team as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm really surprised. I think most people would have a player like Azuwu in their team. 4K there for Azuwu. But Fred, it, it's not just the fact that they win the round after there being a 4A defense. It's the fact that they win the round with all five surviving. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. I feel like as well, it's not as though Viperio, you know, they were caught in rotations. It's not as though there was a flank. Just a regular A hit. It didn't seem as though there was that many flashes. It was just gunfights going the way of Coalesce. And it seems though, Charlie, that long kind of drawn out best of three that they just faced doesn't seem to phase them. Yeah, I mean, that is good to see. I mean, we want there to be no limitations between these teams at all. We want them to be playing at their absolute best, but Ping pushing through the smoke here. Oh, does get spotted, is being held. 5 HP That's is going to be allowed to retreat away, but just damage dealt now. Coalesce, don't need to force anything. Don't need to fight for the kill. Why is that A fighting for the kill, Chris? Pushing up towards B with the MAC-10, takes down MMS. Aware of the second. Nice shot there from Gizmi, though. Still towards Generator. Oh, Doc. Okay. Yeah, he's been in aimbots before <laughs> this, you can tell. Maybe that's what they were doing when Viperio were having their team talk. Yeah, potentially. But the half has been won now, Fred. Coalesce do take charge. They do not only take the lead, they extend it by three. 
Yeah, once again, Charlie, it seems as though potentially this is one of the, the first real rounds of Viperio have had little to no limitations. Yeah, MMS missing three pieces of util, but Charlie, you know what? It is limited. No, 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 no defuse kit. That is devastating. Uh, hopefully, if the bomb goes down, Viperio are going to be rushing the retake because once again, another round. It's devastating. It's been tough on them. It really has been tough on them. Yeah, it's either use of weapons or the future. So there's, the, the, there's the rounds that, that Viperio have won, Fred, they've been close. And, and, and that's what's been really costly. Coalesce, some of the rounds that we've seen in the last sort of two, three, four, they've been a bit more dominant. That's what's allowed them to have a lot more. I mean, look at the money they have, Fred. Shine, 13k. Docs over 10, similar with Leaf. Yeah, they're, they're swimming in cash. Viperio, they can't really seem to get a sniff of it. Um, Viperio, it's going to be important for them to win this round, but as you mentioned, Charlie, they've got to do it dominantly because of that poor funding. Giraffe spots one. I like him backing away there. Obviously, it's a four versus three. They've got the man advantage. No real need to get aggressive. Obviously, Giraffe losing his life, it would be detrimental here. Because it would bring it back to three on three. Chris Seven once again towards B. Takes down MMS. I can find a second here, but Artist on the pistol doing a great job there to find Chris. It's still going to be this B hit here from Coalesce. Artist going to be playing from Generator. Nice little off angle. Potentially they're going to be expecting him a little bit more towards headshot, and that's why they are going to be going for the boost here, but nothing going to be seen from Leaf. Yeah, there is obviously going to be the quick rotation as well in Ping. He can be by his teammate's side in seconds, really. Flash is perfect. Great team play. And Leaf finds Artist. 2-1-2, two, two, and Dox finds Ping. You mentioned the fast rotation, potentially needed to buy the time, wait for Giraffe to come into the mix as well. It's now a one versus two for Giraffe. Does find the first though, has the chance for success here. And he's trying to figure out where this final player is, but Dox clutches it out, 3K in that round, and Coalesce, they find nine, potentially 10 on the board as well, as the money for Viperio. Well, it's just another round where there's limitations, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah, 16 to eight, Fred on Dox right now, playing out of his skin. I mean, clearly that game earlier didn't phase them at all. But Fred, you have to point out Ping there. As soon as we saw Artist go down, it felt like he wanted to force a kill. He wanted to grab one back and leave his teammate in the one versus one. But it was just too costly. He went down himself, 1v2. That just would, was so tough to win at the end of the day. But Coales kicking this round off perfectly as well. Azuwu with a double. Chris, Fred is all really coming up to Coales now. It feels like they found their stride. Zulu towards A and Crystal. Yeah, I feel like they're just sending and these And docked everywhere else. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's not really much you can do. You know, I feel like any bomb site you lean to, any stack, well, we've seen a stack and what happened to that. I feel like Viperio on this CT side really struggled. Uh, I feel like, yeah, they had that initial success. They were, what, five to three up. But that was seven rounds I in a row. I mean, you have to think, for the, the three are up initially. It, it became ten to two. Yeah. I mean, it does just show coalesce. Initially, they looked a bit shaky, but at the end of the day, as soon as the four buys were out, that's where they really came alive. That's where they really sort of set themselves up and, and looked great at the end of the day. That They looked like a, a really dangerous team. Yeah, they're looking good. Hopefully, they can keep this going, don't they? Because they've, they've got a real chance to take it. Uh, I think we do have some slight tech issues at the moment, but well, there we have it. Back right into the action. Quick flurry of kills here, but Giraffe finds his second, brings it back to a three on, oh, well, a three, on three. Leaf, though, doing a great job there. Takes down Giraffe. Yeah, once again, man disadvantage for Viperio, but Chris with these jewelies in the back lines. He was just kept himself hidden away there for quite some time. Yeah, he got himself a freebie for it. And now it's all on Artist, the in-game leader. See what he can do. He knows there's two defenders here. He's got the whereabouts of Chris as well. Yeah, this is a risky fight for Coalesce to take. It's not for but, Shine, though. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Shine, more than ready for that. And Coalesce, Fred, they win the pistol. Already five rounds ahead of their counterparts. Going to be extending that now. Winning that pistol is going to be huge for them. What do Viperio opt to do? Coalesce, after losing the initial pistol, they were happy to eco. Viperio following in their footsteps as well. Yeah, I think you can't really go for a force. I feel like you only really see these kind of potentially the, the more experienced teams, I guess you could say. You only see them force when they get that bomb plant because you get the techs out, you have the deagles, it's not enough. And, you know, they'd be going into this B stack, let's say even if they have weapons. I don't think it's changing anything. Chris is still finding three there. Yeah, it definitely is. 
a possibility. I mean, it's one of those calls that it really is all in hindsight, isn't it? It's it all depends what could happen. It just depends who who who's fragging out on the day. But right now, for Viperio, it feels like MMS, MMS is the only player who's really feeling it on Vertigo. Yeah, we do need someone else to stand up. But I'll be honest with you, Charlie. Maybe the only player feeling on Vertigo is still negative. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that's a few worrying signs. But at the end of the day, they are 12-5 down. You're not exactly expecting them all to be positive. Charlie, remember what we said about the about the Gates game earlier? You know, it, it doesn't mean that Viper is going to start things off slowly. Just because potentially Vertigo isn't going to go their way, just because it's you know been a bit of a slow first map here. Doesn't mean Viperio are going to get stunned on Anubis as well. I feel like they've still got a lot to say, and potentially it is just coming down to the map pick. Yeah, I mean, it'll just be, obviously, if Coalesce do go on to be able to close this one out, it will just be how quickly can they mentally reset. And I'm sure in the sort of 10-minute break that they'll have in between maps, Coach will be able to have a few wise words, and the players will be more than ready for Anubis and ready to bring it to three maps. But Giraffe finds the first on to shine. One versus three made... One versus two. Docs and Chris waiting, glued side by side for now, Fred. Both in the back lines as well. Giraffe, ooh, he's having a bit of an inkling here, but they are still sticking together. One on top of the other as they do push through. Fred, he could get behind them. Yeah, this could be absolutely wonderful. Oh, the reload. Oh, he has got the gun back out. They've hidden themselves on the bomb side. Giraffe's going to be so confused about this. Yeah, he's surely gone down. Docs eliminates. Yeah, that, that's one of the ones that you look at in the demos and you just can't but help but be hurt by that. Yeah, yeah. Timing is brutal. Felt like everything went against Viperio Giraffe in that round. Yeah, and once again, just going to be a half by here for Viperio. Coalesce, going to be searching for 14 here, but it's been a really good result for them. Obviously, we expected Vertigo to kind of go their way. It's a map that they've shown a lot of strengths on. We saw it in their last game, but this is looking very dominant. Hopefully, though, as you mentioned, Charlie, if Coalesce do take this convincingly, Viperio do have that mental fortitude. They can just reset. I'm sure they will. We, we've seen it before from them. They're a team that certainly wouldn't let this game affect them too much. we will be ready. At the end of the day, Fred is the best of three. It's the nature of the game. Sometimes you're going to lose a map. You've just got to bounce back from it. But Coalesce do find 14. Two rounds away, Fred, from going one map up in this series. Yeah, and I think as well for Coalesce, we mentioned how this game, there's a bit of a, a safety net. You know, losing this, you're still going to be kind of in the competition. You're going to be in the lower bracket. You've got the chance for something else. And similarly for Coalesce in this series, they win map one. And Nubis, it's not going to be all pressured. They can still lose that, and then we go to overpass. So Coalesce, taking this early map is going to be really important for them. But Viperio, by no stretch of the imagination, are they out of this yet. We've seen amazing comeback here at Epic, and it could be Viperio to show us another. It really would be something else if they're able to pull the rabbit out of the hat on this one. Taking a bit of early chip damage, Gizmi has, but nothing too substantial. No early kills found as we're approaching that 1 minute 20 mark. Nice from Artist, though. Takes down a heavy hitter of Azuru. Searching for something else. The flashbang going to force him back. Docs will find one in the confusion, but Gizmi pushes through the smoke and finds leave. It's a man advantage still for Viperio. An important kill from Gizmi once again. Oh, but Shine quick on the M4 there as he eliminates Artis. Two versus three. We've seen Shine rotate in and find even more. And it's now a 1v1 for Chris to try and battle against. And Chris wins it. Charlie, that was a two versus four, I believe, at one point. And that is absolutely ridiculous. How has Shine been given the opportunities for those frags? Coalesce, they've on map point now. That is absolutely insane. Yeah, Robin, insult or injury there. That is really, really brutal for Viperio to take is a really bitter pill for them to swallow but they, they do have to still give this game a bit of go it's 15 to 5 Fred they're, they're 10 rounds behind and chances are Coles are going to find one more but there's a big difference between losing 15 and 5 and bringing it back and losing 15 10 yeah I feel like even just a couple rounds here and there it's not only going to give them a little bit more confidence of Anubis but also it gives them kind of something more to show for because realistically both of these teams they're both looking strong but a convincing victory like this it's going to really really play at the mentality as you said but already coalesce four versus two we're expecting this one to end their way and maybe we're not going to see that 16-10 that Viperio are going to be searching for coalesce want to end things here and now I'll be honest with you Charlie I think it's going to go their way but Gizmi going to act 
as the catalyst for Viperio is he does find one. It's an impossible one versus three for him to find. And he goes down to Docks, not even the chance to find another. And what a great map one that is for Coalesce. Vertigo, very dominant, and Anubis will be the next map. But what a performance that. Yeah, I mean, Coalesce in general, it, it, it felt like they had a different level from what we really saw against the Masters. Yeah, really definitely. came out the gate swinging. It, it may be the worst saving strats for Viberio. Yeah, potentially. But, but yeah, that was really great stuff. And then the individual thread are the, the people that we have to talk about. It, yeah, it, it's not necessarily the tactics that they came into. It was just the players that they had. Chris, I don't I don't think he finished actually with that many kills in comparison to the rest of his team. But the impact on those B hits especially. Yeah, definitely. The individual pushes when he went out for the lurks, the entries, whatever they were. Docs. It felt like he was everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It felt like he was, he was a menace of the map. But obviously Azuwu as well, such a consistent fragger. And yeah, those three especially. I mean, you even had Shine as well in, yeah, that, in that one of those last rounds. But but yeah, they were the difference. It didn't really feel like you had anyone on that, that Viperio side that you could massively talk about in the same aspect. As them. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like obviously the main fraggers there was Dox and Azuwu. They were the, the two players, 20 plus kills. I believe it was 24 and 26. Really, really nice stuff. But it seemed as though that Leaf, Shine and, and Chris, they were a little bit behind in the kill department. But it's not as though they didn't have their impact. Yeah. As we said, I feel like there's a highlight reel worthy of, of clips of of just Chris opening things up towards B, Shine holding the line towards mid, similarly with Leaf on that T side. And it's not, you know, I feel like the stats quite undervalue these players' performances because I feel like there's a lot of impact to be had and a lot of impact that they all had, yet the kills aren't really going to show it. But I cannot wait for our map two, Anubis. Viperio's map pick, we need to see them bounce back or it could be a bit of a quick 2-0.